All right, I know it's a little noisy in here. But what we're going to be doing right now is replacing the AC compressor on this 350Z right here. We've already got our splash shield off the bottom. There's our compressor right up there. Let me get you a better shot. There's our compressor. Got to, the way these work is you loosen this nut here and then you take the tension off with this bolt here. You can see how it just runs up there and it basically runs that tensioner up and down. We're gonna get that off, get these bottom bolts off. I got some stuff I gotta take off up top, get to the top bolts. Let's see if we can't wiggle that thing out of that hole. All right, so we got that top nut loose. Make sure I got our ratchet spinning the right way here. Not the easiest thing to do while holding the camera. I've really got to get a tripod. Anyway, so now we're gonna stick this in here. Loosen that girl up. Now I'll take our tension off. By the way, if you want electronic or electric tools, Milwaukee is the way to go. Uh, we can, uh, no light. We can get our belt off. All right, we got our belt off of there. I can go ahead and take these two bolts out down here. And then we'll go up top and get our hoses and our other two. Or actually, I think it's just one on this. I actually just put this engine in this car. Uh, it was it was a junkyard motor. Got it from LKQ. The only one in the nation. Took forever to get here. So that's why we already knew we needed a compressor. This guy was in a hurry. So we put it in with the bad compressor and now he's back to actually get the compressor replaced. All right, so we got our bolt out here. We got this loose. So we gotta pull this out. I'm gonna show you get access to our compressor. All right, with that out of the way, there sets our compressor and our lines we gotta get off. Shouldn't be too bad. Let me get them lines off. We've already did a evac on the system so there's no freon in it pull them lines off get them bolts out and see if we can slide her out of there so, as you can see it's a pretty tight fit here I'm trying to get to these but we can get them one that's going to be a nut get that off of there that line should be able to just wiggle her loose next one also a pretty tight fit you can see the neck right there thank god for quarter inch ratchets especially little swivel ones and i'll tell you i buy all of my stuff or all of my tools from Matco. But I just love gear wrench. I actually might have got that set off. We had a gear wrench truck to come around for a little while. I might have bought that ratchet set from gear wrench. A little more affordable. Most of my tools are going to be Matco. Alright, we got that out of our way. There is one bolt right here and I can't remember for sure if there's another one on the very back or not. Let me get those pulled out of there. Alright, let's just grab this guy right here. Break him loose. You know the thing is I knew this compressor was coming back out. I don't know why I tight these bolts so tight. Oh well.
If anybody knows of an air tool that can get in these really tight places, drop a comment. Not necessarily air, I prefer battery power. Yeah. There's one. So now, I'm pretty sure there's only one in the top. We're gonna bring her up, get the ones out the bottom. You know what, first? First, while I'm right here and I'm so close, let's get this out of here. Let me go get a pocket screwdriver. We'll get that connector unplugged. All right. Got that connector unplugged. That was a two-hand operation. Sorry about that. Couldn't film it. Got our bolts out up top. Let's let her up. See if we can get that compressor out from the bottom. Sorry about the fans. It's hot. Up she goes. Nice and slows. Yeah, there's no fender wells in there. Or fender covers. They're gone. Thing has seen better days, but hey, it's got a low mileage engine in it now. Replace the engine because it wouldn't hold oil pressure. It was rattling, dropped the oil pan, full of metal. So he got an engine. All right, let's grab something and get these two bolts right now. A little trick I like to use. I'm gonna break this one first. Ooh, almost hit myself in the face with a ratchet. And usually, as long as I still got at least one hold in there, I can still run this one out by hand. Now on the next one, I'm gonna have to actually hold the compressor and wiggle it around and run it out. There we go. Bolt number two. Let's go for bolt number three. Oh, the whole compression twisted. Not bad. Probably should have left that bolt in there just a little bit on the end. Alright, I'll just run it all the way out with my ratchet instead of sitting here and trying to wiggle everything around. I got an air, uh, well, not air, battery powered ratchet, but uh, I left it up top. I seem to really like to do that. Alright, she's almost there. This is the part where we gotta finesse it a little bit. I'm actually holding that compressor up with three of my fingers and turning the bolt with the other two. She is free. Will she come by that sway bar? That's the next question. Notice, that bolt was longer than the other bolt. The longer bolt goes to the front. Now, will she fit past the sway bar? Okay, member. And our oil cooler line right here. Maybe a no. I may have to drop the sway bar. Just for a compressor? That's no fun. Maybe we can get her out top. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to try to get her out top. Come back. Okay, so that's our little finessing. She don't come out the top either, so the sway bar's got to come down. That sucks. Oh, let's get the sway bar off. All right, so we ain't got the proper tools. Another Milwaukee. It's a bad little girl right here. We're gonna drop the sway bar. If I can do it single-handedly. Watch where that bolt goes.
Normally I wouldn't just drop this. I'd have another hand to catch them with. There it is. The pressure's in the way. All right, got those bolts out. Our sway bar is now swaying. I think we got plenty of room to drop her out now. Let's see. Look at there. Nothing to it. Let's get the next one, or the new one, prepped, ready to go in. All right, anyways, here's our old one. Here's our remanufactured painted black one. All right, so we got our new compressor in and our bolts started. Do not tighten these yet because believe it or not, this thing can move enough to where that top bolt won't start. So we're gonna start these two, let it down, put the top one in, go ahead, tighten the top one, come back down here, tighten these. All right. We managed to get our bolt, or find our bolt. Get this pin in there. And start her on down by hand. And tighten that one up. put our plugs back in and our hoses back on one problem this com AC compressor did not come with new o-rings so I gotta go see if we got some in the parts department all right so we might have run into our first issue don't look like parts has o-rings I'm gonna show y'all a trick you take it off an o-ring a lot of people try to stick a pick in there or a pocket screwdriver or something what you want to do is you want to grab it on each side and you want to squeeze. See how that O-ring pops up? Then you can take your other finger where it's popped up and just slide it right off. That way you don't damage this end here because it's just aluminum and you will damage it if you stick it a steel screwdriver in there. And that's the best way to remove O-rings. So I'm going to pull these off see if I can match them up with something that I have in my toolbox. So I do have an assortment of AC O-rings. And we'll see if we can get this thing back together today. So we went to the sorted fur rings we got over there. And we found a match. We popped this one on there. We had, we had the one for the, uh, for the high side. We just had the one for the low side. Pop this on there, put that hose on. Alright, we got all that wrapped up. Let's get our lines on. Dry rod is broke, so it ain't gonna clip there anymore. All this guy does is go down in here. He just sits on his pegs right here. And once again, I need two hands. Alright, we got everything down there, our up top done. Now we can come back to the bottom. Tighten these two guys up. Look at that, just by tightening that top on that one there got stiff on me. Well, I can't turn it by hand. Instead of using our ratchet, I'm gonna use one of my favorite wrenches. Nice little mountain ratcheting wrench. That's the brand they had at the time that I bought them. Now Matco's making them again. Um, He's got a lot of different brand names on these, but I think they're all made by the same company. Um, Easy Red was a brand name of them for a while. My first set of these wrenches, believe it or not, was an S and K. And at the time, S and K 
was being sold out, so I couldn't get them working. Okay, those are tightened up. Got a little bit of oil running down from where we took the lines off. We'll clean that up, it's a brake clean. Next up, to throw this thing back up. Our last bolt there, our sway bar, just tighten back up and in place. Throw our belt back on, which I could have done with a sway bar down. Would have made it a little bit easier probably. But it's not that bad at all. We'll get that back on and charge the AC up. I'm gonna leave the splash show off for now. That way I can kind of look for leaks. And of course I wanna clean all this up with some brake clean so I don't have oil running down the side of the compressor. So the guy gets it back and he's like Oh, I see oil, my compressor's leaking, or my lines are leaking. So, definitely want to clean that up. So, let's get this belt on here. All right, I'm gonna set that right there. Go ahead, throw this belt back on the compressor. Route it back around the top here. Make sure it's in the right spot there. All I have to do now is if this is turning the right direction, tighten this up. Check my tension. Good. Then we'll tighten that nut up on the front of that idler. And once that's tight, It ain't going nowhere. This is really hard to do with one hand. There we go. She ain't going. She is staying right there. All right, let's charge the AC up. Make sure it works. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. I'm gonna clean all that up first, and then we'll get to charging it up. All right, we got our AC machine over here. We'll hook her up. Pop these on and then screw the valves down. Alright, from there, we're gonna set this thing to vacuum for uh, a good. We're gonna do 20 minutes. You're technically supposed to do 45 minutes. But our system hasn't been open too long. Still can get a good bit of moisture in there. So we're gonna let that vacuum and we're gonna go clean ourselves up. We got kind of dirty working on that. And then we'll come back when that gets done vacuuming. Look right here. It's gonna tell us how much to charge to. 1.21 pounds. And we'll charge it up, and make sure she's working. All right, we're done vacuuming. And I clean up quite nicely if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna charge. And I know, I'm cheating. I got a fancy machine. I'm not sitting here with little cans and a manifold set hooked up to the car. Uh, I've done it, trust me. And this, so much easier. So all I gotta do is press this button right here and back away and it's gonna auto magically charge the AC system for me. So we'll let that go and then we'll see how good she's blowing or how cold she's blowing. All right, charge has completed. So let's see if we're blowing cool air. I've already took the liberty hooking this in. You can see it's about 79 degrees in here, 84 degrees in the car. Uh, 
Let's start her up. Well, it runs at least. I believe I heard an AC compressor engage. Let's see if that temperature starts dropping. There she goes. 72. All right, so I went ahead, put our splash shield back on, buttoned everything up, and we are setting at 79 in the shop, 47 degrees coming out that center vent. That is beautiful. So we can call this one fixed, pull it out. And I would say start on our next one, but it's getting kind of close to the end of the day. And uh, I'm ready to go home. So might not start on the next one just right now. Let's get her out. Oh yeah, it feels good in here. Kind of just makes you want to sit in here the rest of the day. Hide from your boss, man. I don't think he'd like that, though. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Drop some comments. I check them. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Hopefully we got us another happy customer he got him a new engine and an ac compressor unfortunately y'all didn't get to see the engine part that was actually a couple months ago with all these problems with getting parts it's taken us that long to get a remand ac compressor that was spray painted black so, anyway it is what it is Man's got his Z back. Alright, later.